Hi everyone, I'm here today with my InMotion v f and my new wheel, the Gotway Nikola. Uh, today's exercise is going to be to, yeah, first off, see if we can reliably reproduce the overload that I've gotten in the past with the v f And if I do so, I will also run the same stretch with the Gotway Nikola. And see how that handles. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Hope you can see it. Up there there's basically a hill. Uh, it's yeah pretty steep. We're obviously not gonna go straight up there. That's gonna be a little rough. We're gonna go around on a bicycle lane and then it's gonna be some off-roading in, in the end I believe. And uh, yeah, I'll start with the V10F. Uh, the stretch is actually pretty short. It's about 500 meters. And uh, the weather is pretty cold, actually. It's, what is it? 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. So it's not warm at all. So we'll see if I can actually manage to overload it, the, the V10F in these conditions to begin with. But, you know, I'll ride it to the top and if it doesn't overload, I just drive it down and I ride it up again. And do that until I get an overload or I get tired. And uh, yeah, if I don't get an overload, there's no really no point in uh, attempting the same thing with the nickel, I guess. But yeah, well, I might do that anyway. Okay. Alright. So, ready to start. The wheat and F run. Pretty loaded up, I think it's about 80% battery or so. And uh, yeah, right, we'll see. I uh, only have my mobile phone there to shoot a video with, so it's not gonna be a pro quality, but uh, hopefully you uh, can tag along a little bit here. And up we go. Never actually ridden this trail before, but yeah, that seems to be a nice incline. But yeah, we'll see. I might, I might have to go back later. Okay, take two. Now let's aim for the right exit. From what I understand while doing some research for this particular for this particular stretch, it's supposed to be an 11 degrees incline overall here. Oops. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to push this a little bit here, so grab hold and wheel. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Are not the ideal conditions for really pushing the wheeler. Come get up. All right. Okay, so that's the first run done. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one for another day, perhaps. Perhaps not, it's actually kind of doable. 
Hmm. Oh, let's stick with this one for now. So, first ascent, no problem. So that doesn't keep us up. It's just gonna run around here and up and down until I oops, ah, either get the overload or oh, I'm oh get too cold, too bored, or tired. Also the first time that I'm running my wheat pin up again after gunning the Nikola. And I have to say that the pedals on the Nikola they are actually a lot better. And the wheat pin up pedals, they're good, it's kind of large and comfortable. But uh, they're kind of too flat actually. They're actually better with a little bit of an angle there. So logging this run here with Vlog. So if I actually manage to get an overload, I should hopefully have some data as well to look at the temperature temperature monitors. Yeah, will I ever get tired of this view? Yes, we'll know soon. Anyway, so second ascent. Not a problem so far. Yeah, okay. Lap free. All right, so there we have it. Yep, as you can tell, it's pretty tilted back now. Yeah, okay, please get off. I kind of want, that's a funny behavior. It actually, it's so tilted back, it wants to go backwards. All right, no, I didn't want to turn on. So, there you go. Huh. All right. It's basically overloaded on the third lap. Almost, I was almost at the top. Huh? Yeah, we just rest, baby.
Yeah, I'm, gonna, oh, I'm also gonna rest a little bit here. That's uh. Well, anyway, I'm happy that I was that I was actually able to reproduce it, even though, like I said, it's pretty cold. It's nine degrees Celsius, so I wasn't sure that it actually would happen. But it did. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down, and I'm gonna take it back and uh, do the same thing with the Nicola. So. It's time for the contender, the Gotway Nikola. I have uh, had this wheel now for what is it, four days, for four or five days. So far, I've uh, only good to say about it. But it's a big wheel, for sure. But uh, it also have a massive tire, three inch wide, and uh, it's actually quite a nice looking wheel I think as well uh-huh yeah I managed to turn off the side lights completely now with the lost one with the lost power light cycle yeah I mentioned this when I was riding on the Wheaton F but the pedals on the Nikolas they are actually pretty good uh, they're large uh, compared to the Wheaton F there's a angle there so they're slightly angled uh, not so much as the MSX though which is I think it's, it's a good idea, basically. But they're basically they're more comfortable compared to the V10Fs, based just on the angle. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a full review of the Nikola here. Instead, we're gonna focus on the hill climbing, and we'll see how the Nikola does. So, we managed to overload the Wheaton F on the... Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to remove this. I have a portable belt there. So, we managed to overload the Wheaton F on the third lap. And we'll see how the nickel handles it. And also, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how it handles the gravel and the rocky thing there. mentioned that I haven't put on the side paths that came with the Nikola yet. Um, I'm not sure I ever will. Perhaps I probably will. But this might actually be a scenario where this could be useful. For you know, maintaining a better grip on the wheel. Being able to push it a little bit more. But the body itself is also pretty wise. Hunker down there. Yeah, well, push, push. Yeah. Third time I get hit in the face, but the same burn. Some people never learn. this side now. Here you go. All right. First ascent and first view from the top from the Nikola. Yeah. Speaking of comfort again, I mean, the Nikola is actually really comfortable. More comfortable for me than a Wheaton F. And that's still a pretty comfortable wheel. And the wide tire. Yeah, for, the, for these kind of conditions, it's really 
shows us the best side. And it definitely felt better going up on the Nicola than it did compared to the week and a half. A lot more stable. What do, what do I know? I'm a Nicola fanboy now. So that concludes the first lap with the Nikola. Just immediately start on the second one. Alright, second successful lap with the Nikola. Now let's go for the lap three. Now see here, this is what happens when I don't actually have a wheel. I end up walking like some kind of animal. So the third time was the charm for the week and F. And again, I'd be very surprised if I have any problems with the Nicola. But still, once we pass the point, we're officially in bad territory. surprised me at all. Okay. Now, um, uh, yeah, let's see how many naps I'll do. Well, I, I know that it's better than a wheat to Of course, that didn't take much. I'm just gonna continue running up and down here until I get, basically get tired of it and uh, feel confident that the Nikola will have in this fine. So we'll see how many laps I actually have in me. So Now on the sixth lap, just about to reach the top. Yeah, so far everything is just working out beautifully with the Nikola. So the wheel is doing fine. Myself, I'm starting to get a little bit bored actually. I'm getting a good workout there for calves as well. I'm gonna have to stretch those when I'm done. Ah, ow, boy. Get that big rock. So I'll do, yeah. I'm gonna do a couple more laps. All in the name of science, taking one for the team.
so this is the, the final lap this is now the tenth time that I do this with the Nikola that's just been back to back runs Basically just heading up to the top driving down and immediately turning around and doing the same thing there so and it is handled very well it's just me just get getting tired uh, I did manage to give the Nikolai's first tumble drove down to a section with deep gravel spun out but uh, no worries I don't think I'll be running this hill for quite some time now. I feel like I, I know it a little bit too well now. chance to look at the view and there we have it the winner good work yeah you can basically I don't know if you can hear it but, uh, the fan is spinning but uh, other, than, other than that uh, it's working out very well uh -huh, the handle is no, it's fine All right, so all in all, a good day's work. I'm going to be riding this hole. And I'm going to give the Nikola some juice. Our service is rendered. And the wheat and F, of course. It's going to not the wheel. It gets to start. Think about its behavior. Oh, good, so good to be riding down this for the last time anyway thanks for watching and uh, go Nicola